Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Ava Gordy. Mama. And I'm Candice Carzales. The buildup was incredible. I had to make sure like, that was my Who line. was gonna be with me? Sweden is really nailing it when it comes to a lot of things, like giving parents 480 days of paid parental leave when a child is born or even adopted. Like free college education. Like six hour work days for a lot of places. Like free healthcare. Like by law, employees are given 25 vacation days. Like incredible public transportation. Like the most advanced country for women. I read that in a 2005 article. I hope that's still relevant. Like the river water is perfect for drinking. Like apparently the sun is out all the time. Like in 2010, Stockholm was named Europe's first green capital. Like hardly anyone uses cars because of that incredible public transportation. Like the air is f***ing fresh. Like the air is really f***ing fresh. IKEA! Let's cut to a clip. Anyway, Sweden is doing something incredible. Just like that public transit. Incredible. Swedish politician Eric Muskos made the proposal to give employees paid hour-long breaks to have sex. <laughs> Sex. That's my impression of sex. If it were to speak? Yeah. Sex! At a council meeting in the northern city of Overtornia, Musco said that he backs the measure because it will encourage childbirth and boost work morale. Well, yeah, going home to real quick and coming back to work will probably feel pretty great. Can we talk about how I nailed that? You did. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be a brand new sex hour. Swedes have already been taking exercise breaks. Uh -huh. Muskos told the Swedish newspaper when sex is also an excellent form of exercise with documented positive effects on well-being, the municipality should kill two birds with one stone and encourage employees to use their fitness hour to go home and have sex with their partner. But how can he be absolutely sure that they'll go home and have sex? Is he gonna follow them home? What if this encourages extramarital affairs? Oh yeah, it won't do that because this is Sweden we're talking about. They would never do that. I would use my exercise break as a nap break. I would also use my sex break as a nap break. I would also use my maternity leave as a nap break. I only got five hours of sleep last night. I slept in the bathroom right before this video. Why did nap breaks have to end after preschool? I think Sweden should just stop being so perverted. Gross. <laughs> Blech. Yucky. Napping is where it's at, everybody. I gotta admit it. I think this is a pretty cool idea for parents. They spend their days at work while their kids are at school and then they come home from work and their kids are home from school and all they want to do do is twerk it, but they can't because little Billy's hungry. Billy needs food. Billy needs home with his homework. Billy wants candy before your dinner time. Billy will never get a brother or sister because Billy has sleep problems and his parents never have two minutes to bow one out. Muskos also said, I believe that sex is a scarce commodity in many long relationships. Everyday life is stressful and the children are at home. This could be an opportunity to have their own time. Smart. Still, so many questions unanswered. Is this every day? Is this in addition to lunch breaks? Could I leave for two hours and come back? like, hey guys, just had my lunch sex break and that would be fine. Does everyone in the office go for their sex break at the same time? Do you have to clock out with your manager before said sex break? When you come back, will everyone know you visited Pound Town? It's kind of hot. It's probably because we're talking about Does it have to be with a long-term partner? Can I use the sex break to pick up chicks at the local bars? Can I use it with a coworker? The Swedish article from Afton Bell at it that we had to use Google Translate on said something like this. Although the motion was met with a lot of laughter during the meeting is per Eric Muskos clear that he is serious. In addition to population decline, he has an equal opportunities considering the proposal. Which makes no f***ing sense, Google Translate. But we basically think that it means that the poor guy got laughed at and then had to be all, no, I'm for real, there's a population decline here in Swedishville and I want sex breaks. So tell us, would you guys appreciate sex breaks? Would you use your sex, sex breaks? Would you guys appreciate sex breaks? Sex breaks. I can't do it the way that you do it. I'll do it for you. Would you use your... Oh, I wanted you to say sex breaks. Oh. Would you use your... Sex breaks. To really have sex? Sex. Would you, <laughs> would you use your... Sex breaks. To really have... Sex. Or would you do other stuff and just mess up your... Hair. A little bit on your return and make it look like you just had... Sex. Let's know the comments <laughs> below. I'm Candace Carzales. And I am Ava Gordy. Thank you so much for watching. Board meetings because I didn't agree with his vision for the company. So what do you guys think about their decision to bring back nakedness? Do you like boobs as much as I like boobs? It's quite a lot, you guys. Friends who take care of sex dolls will be tough, but Lee has three. Incredible. Incredible. Truly. Incredible. He thinks of the dolls as Incredible. his- Incredible.